So today I'm gonna to quickly show you how to sign up for an account with Calendly. Now I sometimes have a hard time saying that name, but what we're gonna do is actually here show you in real time on the desktop how to sign up for your account. Now you could also do this on your phone as it will ask you very similar questions. Now I'm gonna hop over here off screen so that way we don't accidentally cover anything that might be popping up here for us. Now, if you actually wanna jump right to this page, I'll have a link for you in the show notes down below so you can jump right to this and we can go ahead and get started. Now, when it comes to signing up for Calendarly, they actually go ahead and recommend that you go and use either your Google account or a Microsoft account as well. And this is actually gonna make it really easy if you're already using like Google calendars or if you're using Microsoft's Outlook slash everything else that they use as well. Now, if you don't utilize any of those and just wanna go and sign up with a regular email, you can go ahead and do so with the link down here to the bottom. Now for us, we want to go ahead and use our Google Calendar as that's what we kind of already structure everything when it comes to our business and how we kind of function here with our accounts. So we're going to go ahead and click on sign up with Google and we're going to show you the very next step. So now here on the next page, if you're anything like me, you might have multiple accounts on here. And this is all of our Gmail accounts that are already connected to this Google Chrome that we're using. And if none of these are the ones that you wanna use, you can always click on use another account. But if you see the one you wanna use like ours right over here, we're gonna go ahead and click on that option and we're gonna move on to the next step. Now here it's gonna ask for Calendarly to gain access to your Google account. It'll let you know what they're gonna be having access to and to be able to continue on, we do want to hit allow to be able to go through that next step. If we hit cancel, it is going to take us all the way back to the home page. So from right over here, now it's gonna ask us to go ahead and create a URL. Ideally, you wanna put in your business right over here or your name, anything that makes it easier for people to distinguish that they're going to your Calendarly link. Now it does also show you your time zone, so make sure you choose that option correctly. You can also skip this if you'd like, but this is kind of an important part of the process, so I would encourage that that gets filled out. And then we're gonna go ahead and click on the continue button here on the right. So here on this next page, it shows that our Google Calendar has been officially connected, and it's just verifying right over here with the email that you've attached, and it says we'll check that email for conflicts, and we'll also add events to that email's calendar as well. If everything looks good right over here, we're gonna click on the continue button to the right. So next up here, it's gonna have us set our availability. We're gonna have the ability to change our hours as well as the days of the week. So we can just go here and toggle through all the different available hours for us, as well as the days that we wanna utilize, which we could box, check box on and off. And of course, we can always change these later as things might change. Then once we are done with that, we can go ahead and click on the continue button. Now here it's gonna ask you a quick question of what is your day-to-day -day role at work? And it has different options for you. And then once we're done with that, we're gonna click on finish. And just like that, we are now on the home page of our Calendly account, which of course we can customize even more. And like I mentioned earlier, if you wanna go ahead and jump to that starting page, I'll have a link for you in the show notes down below. You can jump right to it, as well as any other small business resource links you might need. Now we always wanna support you as a small business owner. So check out our next video right over here on screen to keep on learning.